The plan is simple. If you're having trouble with snipes, just scale faster than they can shoot you. <laughs> that's all we're doing. Take two units in the very front, that's who the woodpecker's hitting, scale them up as quickly as possible, and see if you get there quick enough. It should be fun, hope you enjoy it. Let's jump right in. Okay. The first time I've gotten basilisks, that's nice. Be <laughs> some, uh, what do we want to be? Precious noobs. Aw, oh, dude, come on. How does that happen? The first time I get basilisk, I get a 3 4 going into a 4 1. I feel like we're getting pranked out here. Speaking of, switch you out, I guess. We'll throw in a somebody. Okay. We've got a mosquito now for the pig. The pig has dual health. <laughs> what has happened? Nah, that's why we put the basilisk back one. Prepare for the pig. Just in case, you know. Just to make sure. So let's get a little level on you. Baboon ain't too bad right here. Maybe we run a lucky cat. Or a worm, but I think Lucky Cat sounds nice. Okay, this looks good. So now Lucky Cat's gonna get the buffs. Ooh, we get out by one. That's huge. <laughs> that could have ended very poorly. I just realized we still need cherries on you. Otherwise, you're not doing a damn thing. Roll me. What if we do this? That might be a, a good idea. Might be worth something. Oh, off by one. How does this happen to us? What do we got? Falcon Rootling. Rootling is interesting. Let's try Rootling, especially with how low health everybody is. I love Falcon, don't get me wrong. But Rootling? Kind of cool. Um, we do need a level 3, so I think... It's probably got to be the, do the Tamarin, right? You don't have anyone to sell the Chipmunk for. Lucky Cat is ginormous. Let's cook it up. Lettuce is actually huge here. That's good. Um, we, we could try the mole. Uh, I think it might be a little iffy. You know, I thought it wasn't going to be a heavy snipe weekly, but I was very wrong. It's just a, a deceptive snipe weekly. What the heck is this? <laughs> what am I looking at right now? Oh, our rootling needs some love here. We'll get some love from the baboon, I guess. Maybe we just need to scale up so fast that we can't lose. Right? Maybe that's the way to do it. We could set up the woodpecker as well. Oh my lord. Um, I, th I guess we go here. Jesus, okay, we're getting a lot of scaling options. I'm thinking we go garlic on the chipmunk and call it a day. But like, holy moly, there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna freeze all of it. All right, let's ditch the woodpecker. Let's say we're better than that. <laughs> we're gonna do a little bit of this. Okay, so at least for this turn and next turn, Baboon will set up our Rootling here. And we're doing good. We're doing good.
And then, hold on. What if we get rid of the lucky cat? That our rootling up front throwing a monkey, right? Because then the rootling is guaranteed to be higher health than everybody. Let's try to find another rootling. That's huge. Falcon might be the way to go here too. <laughs> Baby. This is too good. You can't make this up. Hang on to some lettuce too. Sure. Really is just one of those, we're getting infinite duplicates here. Oh, dude, I want to run a fox. Can I have a fox? <laughs> Can we get a fox on our side now? No, I don't even know if we'd be able to run fox right now. Okay, so now this is our whole team. We get to decide how we want to go about this. So we're selling chipmunk. For sure. We're probably selling Baboon, all things considered. That's a plus one, plus two. So these two are gone. We can pick two homies from the shop. I kind of feel like it's a fly angle. We can get like fly vulture or something. But like boar is a must, right? So let's grab a boar. <laughs> this is tricky. So sell you. We're gonna stock three garlics. Do we care about the falcon? The falcon I don't think is gonna scale quick enough. That's my take. I think we, we want somebody else. So maybe we go fly here. And then we definitely need garlic on you. Definitely need garlic on you. Okay. I think we're in a good spot here. Dude, these pivot turns are insane. Looking good, looking good. Okay, we're hanging in there. So we're looking for levels now. We'll get some lettuce out here for sure. Other garlic cooked up. You are an orangutan. <laughs> no, because orangutan kind of goes counter to rootling. It gets everybody's health up so that rootling is less likely to trigger on people. But it would be very good on the boar, so maybe another time. What the heck is this? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Do we even have, I think there's a bat I saw. No, there's no bat. There aren't really a whole lot of ailment homies this week, which I mean, I'm fine with. Keep them out, I don't want them. Ailment homies are ruining the day. Looking good with this team. This team is kind of cooked in a good way, of course. I think we're just looking for levels right now. This team, we're scaling up, we're doing good. We could maybe switch the monkey for a vulture, but monkey's also keeping rootling online. Ooh, panther's kind of cool though. Panther with what? Durian? Nuke everybody's health? No, I don't think so. Stay focused. <laughs> Stay on track. We gotta make sure we're doing the right plays here. Look for levels. Speaking of, I don't know where all the levels are, but if we could find some of those, that'd be cool. Dodo, sure, sure. It was like feeding frenzy in terms of levels. Also, why are you only buffing these two back here when these two are the ones that we actually want buffed? Kind of sus. We almost had him, actually. I'm, I, I'm not just saying that. We actually almost had him. Oh, baby. Rootling online soon. 
So Vulture would be pretty good. But I don't think it's going to happen. Just being straight up. We're going to get Rootling level 3. Maybe switch out the monkey. I think we're high enough health where we can afford to. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. With that nonsense. Mm hmm. Silly snipe teams. Ridiculous. Alright, level you. Because I'm thinking go tiger behind the boar. That way he's, he's going to scale really quickly. I think that's the play here. We already have so much scaling on you. You're going to be... What is that? 150% of 15. 22-ish. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a... That's enough attack, I think. So let's do this. Okay. Oh yeah. Hmm, okay, not quite, not quite. Can we get there? Okay. It was a 50-50. You know, there, there was no better chocolate target between the tiger and the fly, in my opinion. We could maybe have done... I mean, 8-8 eight, eight flies are pretty good. But I feel like once they get through the front line, the boar has to clean up. And if the boar ain't cleaning up, we're in trouble. Boar ain't cleaning up. <laughs> Dude, it don't matter how many how much health you got, how much scaling. Granted, we don't have that much, but even with garlic on everybody, those little spam snipes are just killing you. I mean Basilisk Pig has has something there. Just the mosquitoes kind of screw with it a bit. Somehow that just worked out. We got very lucky. We'll take it though. Let's grab a beetle. There's an argument to be made grabbing the mosquito there, but I was hoping for something a little better. Evidently we did not find it. But hey, the beetle summon gets us there. Alright, go here. Roll me. Could be a worm angle. Early scaling is hard to come by. Hang on to you. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I don't have a great feeling about this one. I think we might be in trouble this round. I don't know how we're getting so lucky with mosquitoes, honestly. Doesn't matter this time, but mosquitoes have been very nice to us. Get a little wasp action going. We can work with that. And then... We just do this. I really don't want a rat. Of course, now we get the opossum. Um, do this. Hold on to you. So here's the beauty of the... The wasp. He basically just kind of does his own thing, you know? You don't have to really buff him a whole lot for him to get to 50 attack. Level you. Falcon. Go here. Start getting you cooked up a little bit. Oh baby, he's summoning rocks. <laughs> Watch out. This guy's got rocks. Alright, let's go here. Go here, here. See if we can find another worm, maybe? We did not find another worm. That's alright, though. And this is looking pretty solid. <laughs> That's so funny. The mole actually got his trigger off. 
the mole that we stole. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I really want to run a fox, but how do you not take monkey in this case? You just, you would be insane not to. I think the goal is scale up these two together and then, you know, kind of profit, I guess, is step two. Um, so, you know, do with that as you will. <laughs> I kind of wish that they didn't have limited triggers. You could just sit here and watch that as a little ASMR. That'd be fun. Hippocampus. Interesting. I think I could definitely see a hippocampus in place of the basilisk here. That just seems like it would be really good. How do we keep doing this? <laughs> Over and over. Just wait until they learn about garlic. And then we'll be in trouble. Alright, give me a level. I mean, Hammerhead is also tempting. We're just not quite there. We could get pretty close on the worm here, but... Let's... Let's play it smart. Hold on to you, actually. Do it like this. We don't know for sure what we're doing with the chocolate just yet. Okay. This could be a very good shark angle, by the way. Since they have a big clock going. Speaking of, is it a shark angle? Now I have to decide. Because we'd put it all in the falcon, basically. If the falcon doesn't trade into somebody, we're screwed. But it is a shark. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's do... I mean, this is a given. We can go here. I mean, straight up. What if we just do it like this? And then we can we can hang on to the shark here for a second. Just get a little extra on this guy. Now, surely that hasn't worked for you. Can't imagine it has. Okay, keep it cooking. And then... I think we garlic on you. I, I, I don't really want to grab the shark is the weird thing. I still want to keep the monkeys cooking. Maybe we don't shark yet. Yeti could be good though. Let's find things naturally. Don't hit the monkeys. Ooh, I am very surprised those didn't hit the monkeys. I did not at all expect that. So yeah, it's kind of one of those, are we very susceptible to like the Omega snipe combo? Yeah. Like maybe that's okay. Maybe that doesn't matter. We're playing the odds, you know? What are the odds that we get hit by one of them? <laughs> I'm not sure. That, that's the, the big tricky part. I have no idea. All right, well now we can look for a hammerhead. Another falcon, don't mind if I do. Pretzel, not gonna happen. The real bummer when you're running a wasp. Pretzel is just permanently off limits from the get-go. Wouldn't it be so funny if the whale could eat your homie? <laughs> oh, dude, that'd make it so fun. Okay, we don't have enough to get through the shark, interestingly enough. We're like really friggin' close, but not quite there. Okay, so we got one more hit on the wasp with the monkeys, and then we'll start doing something smart, maybe? In theory. Oh, 
But I mean, this is kind of fun. <laughs> I love it. Maybe this is the way you gotta do it, you know? Just the slow, consistent scaling, and then hope you don't run into the nuts snipe team. Because you get so caught up in like the, all right, we got to get the panther garlic. We got to get the ghost kitten garlic. You know, maybe we just hope that we don't see the overpowered snipe teams, you know, playing the odds game.